Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Indigo Goddess 1111. I want to thank you all for joining me. This is for uh, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This will not resonate with everybody so just take what fits and leave what don't. And as always, uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. So while I was meditating on your guys' sign, I kept seeing the number five. When I see five in meditation, to me that is positive change is coming to ask your angels for help and allow divine timing to do its work. But remain positive because good times, good things are coming to you. You guys have been putting in a lot of effort in trying to make a relationship work, um, trying to make sure that it is balanced, that you are giving as much as they are giving. You are taking as much as they are taking. And it hasn't been the case. You feel you have been giving much more to this relationship than what you have been getting. And you're beginning to feel used, taken advantage of, disappointed, discontent, dissatisfied. You haven't said anything, though, because you're scared that they are going to leave, that they're going to move on from you. For another group of you, you don't know whether to stay or go. Spirit is saying for a lot of you, the time is to go. It is not meant to go any longer. It is not satisfying you. It is not making you happy. And it's been this way for far too long. Being with a partner is supposed to enhance every part of our life, make us better people. We are all in charge of our own happiness, though. We will never find somebody who is going to be able to make us happy all the time. And it is not their job. It is our own job to make ourselves happy. And when we come in to a relationship and to a commitment and to even contact with somebody else and you are making yourself happy, that person just enhances it. It just makes you that much better of a person. But never put the responsibility on someone else to make you happy and don't put the blame on them when it's not happening. Spirit is saying it's time to make yourself happy. For a group of you, you're making big life choices. You are making choices that are going to cause big changes. And it's moving you towards something better. Something that's meant for you. Something that is destined to be yours. For a group of you, you're ending relationships and you are working on yourself. You are loving this new independence that you are feeling. In the past, you have, when you ended relationships, um, you felt lonely, sad, scared. This time is different. You are finding healing and balance and a newfound sense of self-esteem, of self-worth, of independence, of just being your own person finally. Not having somebody there to tell you who you can talk to, what you should wear, where you can work, who can be your friends, when and when you can and can't talk to your mom, it's just for a group of you, you were really controlled for a long time in every area of your life. Um, and you are taking that back. You are taking that power back and making your life your own. You are living for you and only for you. And if somebody comes along that wants to join in on the journey, your game if not, you're cool walking along. 
What a beautiful energy. Now that you have found that energy, you have found healing, you have found independence, a new love is going to come in. You're going to be hesitant at first because you're scared to lose this new independent you. Don't be scared. They want their independence too. They want to be their own person. They don't want to control you. They don't want to make your decisions. They want you to have your own mind, your own opinion, your own voice, your own feelings. And it's going to be very successful. For another group of you, people are coming in and they are going to just shower you with romance and affection and attention. And they are very charming. They're emotionally stable. And you feel this instant connection. Like you have known them for years. Lifetimes. Spirit's saying it's because you have. You have lived many lives with this person. And this is a divine partnership. This is a twin flame relationship. You are going to reconnect with that person that walked out of your life eight, nine months ago. Some of you, it's going on eight, nine years ago. Because we're they're in a cycle. So, you know, ones that were just um, who are just in separation for, you know, the last nine to 12 months to those who have been in separation for around eight to nine years. They are coming back. They are ready to reconnect. And a new spark is going to ignite the passion. It is going to throw you into bliss, happiness, success, abundance. Just remember to not lose your independence. Um, do not let that codependency creep back into your life. For another group of you, you guys are reconnecting in a relationship where you never were in separation. You were in a marriage or a long-term commitment that just kind of went stale, stagnant. You guys are reconnecting. And you guys also are finding a new spark. You are learning things about your partner that you didn't even know and you've lived under the same roof. They are letting you into parts of their life um, that they haven't necessarily let you in before. And this is just going to make you guys that much more closer, that much more successful, that much more appreciative. And April is going to be a really good month for those couples out there that are still together, but have been standing in stagnant water. For a group of you, you're getting a new job. You're going to find balance with this job. It's going to emotionally satisfy you and financially uh, satisfy. And it's a job where there's room for advancement. And you will be climbing the ladder very quickly. Within the next year, you will go from an hourly employee to a salaried management position. For another group of you... You are finding new jobs. And then, oh, you are leaving jobs to start your own business. Be brave. The world can be a tough, critical place. But once you stand your ground in this certain area of marketing or market that you are going to try to corner, you are going to be successful. You are going to be able to compete with the best of them. And you are going to find success there. For some of you, you have jealous people around you. There is 
just this negative, dark energy in your space. And you don't even know it. They are tricky. They are deceitful. They have you believing they are a friend of yours. And they have your back. They would do anything for you. And they are secretly stabbing you in the back. And trying to sabotage anything you have going for you. Their true colors are going to come out in April. You're going to catch them in a lie. And it's just going to spiral down from there. And it's going to hurt. Because you thought this friend or friend cared about you the way you do about them. And it's going to hurt your feelings. It's going to hurt your heart. But rid that dark energy out of your life. They are dark and that's there's no changing it. For another group of you, you are moving forward. You are taking action. You are no longer going to allow yourself to sit in the same spot you were yesterday because you know you deserve better. And it's going to come to light. It's going to become all crystal clear to you on what you have to do to get there and get what you want. And you're going for it. For another group of you, you have amazing offers coming in. Offers coming towards you that will leave you in a better place. They will bring you to better opportunities. And you will be enlightened to a whole new life. For some of you, your self-esteem is going under a reconstruction and you are having a renewal of confidence. Someone is coming to you that's going to offer you love. A spirit saying, go for it, but stay in the moment. Don't rush things or you could possibly scare them away. Enjoy today. Go out and have new adventures. Go out and eat at a place you would never eat before. Go out and do an activity that you would never think of doing. And do it with this person. But don't get ahead of yourself. Just enjoy the moment. It will go a long ways if you don't rush it. You're going to have a lot of fun. But you have to allow it. For some reason, you feel guilty having too much fun. You have someone in the back of your mind that you feel bad for or that you feel guilty about leaving. Don't. They're a grown-up. They'll figure it out. I'm not saying you shouldn't have compassion for people, but we're all here on our own path, on our own journey. They have their lessons to learn and their life to figure out on their own. You can't save everybody. You can't save anybody but yourself. It's not your job to fix them. It's their own. So don't feel guilty about having fun or enjoying yourself or finding new love because it is our purpose here to walk our own path, to learn our own lessons and to move forward as our own people. It's only when we find somebody that's walking their own path that want to walk next to you, but stay in their own lane. That is what the perfect divine relationship is. Don't allow people to be codependent on you. Don't overanalyze everything. Don't get stuck in your head. Let your hair down, take a deep breath, and enjoy life. You guys have spent a lot of time worrying, stressing, trying to fix everything. Just go with the flow. Allow yourself to laugh. Allow yourself to have joy. Allow yourself to be carefree for just a little bit. For another group of you, you're getting married. Congratulations. Spirit is saying, don't forget to enjoy the engagement. You're spending a lot of time worrying about the details. 
And that's not what it's about. People are not going to remember 10 years down the road that you had pink roses instead of blush. Or your cake icing was cream cheese and it was supposed to be vanilla. Nobody cares. Remember what that day is about. Remember why it is that you have decided to take this person's hand and start walking together. To start loving And to start building a family, to start building a life, it's not about the the wedding day. So remember to stay in the moment. Remember to enjoy the engagement. For a group of you, if you have a pool... I know this is going to sound weird, but this is very important for somebody. Um, You know, warmer weather is coming. If you have a pool in your backyard, watch children. Watch. Make sure your gate has a lock on it and make sure that lock is functioning. Because there could be tragedy. Um, It can be avoided if you keep your pool locked up. Yeah. Yeah make sure you are, you check them, make sure you check it daily because accidents happen so fast. And I know that's probably for a very small number of you, but anybody that has a pool, I am asking you to please check it. Check those locks. Yeah. Daily. Um, I'm sorry, I got to regather myself. Um, For a group of you, you want something real. You want something grounded. You want something that is not based on lies or, or deceit. You just want something that's true, something that's honest, something that's fun. Something that you can, can, someone you can confide in and share your life with. Well, it's here. It's slow to get here. (laughs) Um, For a group of you, this is with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn because it is moving very slow. For another group of you, this is a Pisces or Libra. Um. It's going to be balanced. It's going to be fair. It's going to be beautiful. There is no secrets going to be um, being kept from you. It's going to be amazing. So let it in. Let it come to you. You are manifesting it. It's just coming slow. For a group of you, somebody left and left you with so many unanswered questions. This person wasn't the one for you. They're not coming back. So take the time to find who you are. Don't rush into a new relationship. Don't try to find somebody because you're lonely. Take this time to find yourself again. You got so lost in this last relationship that now that they're gone, you feel empty and it's because you lost yourself somewhere along the way. You were dependent on them for your happiness. You were dependent on them to make you feel complete, to make you feel worthy. And now that they're gone, all of a sudden, you don't feel loved. You don't feel worthy. You don't feel, you just feel like you're going through the motions of life. Take the time to find yourself because you're in there. It just takes time. It's time for some of you to leave your old life behind, old friends, 
possibly family, and venture out and start a new life. Move forward. For a group of you, you have a message coming in from somebody, could be friend, family, lover, but you have a message coming in that helps lift you up, lift your spirits up, lift your hope. Actually, I'm seeing this being a friendship. This is going to turn into an amazing friendship, eventually a partnership in business down the road. But for right now, this person's going to come in and help you heal. Um, their energy, just even in your space, is going to raise your vibration because they bring you joy. They bring you happiness in the most innocent way. For another group of you, it's time for you to stop hurting yourself. It's time for you to quit um, going in the same circles, in the same motion, in the same routine. You have to change something. Or you're never going to break out of this cycle. And it's just going to, every time you go through the cycle, it's going to break you down a little more and a little more. It's going to get harder. It's going to hurt more. So take a step back and reflect and really comb through every area of your life and figure out what isn't working for you, what isn't satisfying you, and change it. Or you're going to suffer through this heartbreak for another nine-year cycle, and you don't want that. For a group of you, you are going to be very successful at this. For a group of you, you know what it is that needs to change. You've just been living in fear, fear of changing it, fear of them leaving, fear of that job not working out. You're living in fear. There's nothing to fear. Whether you are scared of it or not, what's going to happen is going to happen. So what good does it do to you be scared? It's not even, it's not even here yet. Live in the moment and have the courage to move forward. You are going to find a lot of success in finances this month, Aquarius. You're taking big risks and you are getting big rewards. For those of you who have the courage to move forward alone, you're going to find that independence. You're going to find that person that is just so fulfilled in life itself and living it the way you want that your whole life is going to turn around and blessings are going to come in. So have the courage to break out of the shell that you're in, to break free from these chains that are holding you down. Because when you find your independence, you find your power. You find your self-worth, your self-esteem. And you are going to feel great by the end of April. You are going to walk a whole new walk and a whole new path that's filled with happiness, joy, contentment, success, abundance, and everything in between. New relationships are coming. Soulmates, twin flames are coming back. Just heal. Heal every day. Heal, balance your chakras daily. Smudge. Free yourself of that negative energy. Really take the time every day to do you, to be you, to sit and Clear your head of everything that's there. Let it all go. Let it all out. And let new blessings come in. Spring is here. New beginnings, rebirths, reconnecting. It's all here. All that heartache and hard um, things that we went through, um, through fall and winter, 
that was everything that we didn't need anymore, dying out, shedding our skin. So now is the time to allow new things to come in and to allow the new you to break out. So that is what I have for you guys. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful April and a beautiful spring and allow those blessings to come into you because you guys deserve it. So I hope you guys enjoyed your channeled messages. As always, I send you love, light, and may God bless your path.